Now to the Big Island, the world's largest active volcano continues to rumble. Mauna Loa remains at a yellow advisory level with dozens of small earthquakes every day, a sign the volcano could be heading toward an eruption. County officials say it is important for residents to be prepared. Sam Spangler has more in a story new tonight at 9. Mauna Loa began what geologists call unrest back in July. Then it peaked in September with 40 to 50 small earthquakes a day. Recently, there have been about 10 to 20. While an eruption is not imminent, officials say there are other signs of unrest. We're continuing to see the same levels of increased um, rates of inflation at the summit, which is indicative of magma moving into that shallow reservoir of uh, Mauna Loa. Mauna Loa covers about half of the island. It's a tough challenge for civil defense to coordinate what an eruption would do. But lava covering one of the island's many two-lane highways would be tough on residents as well as first responders. Shutting down the main ar arteries will disrupt life. Um, I went down to Lower Puna a couple weeks ago, and yeah, roads are still still out. They are planned to be reconstructed, but you know, life is returning, and so um, that's living on an active volcano. We things are dynamic, and and we'll, we have to face this. With that. It's up to residents to have a plan. Well, we need to be prepared for that volcano if it, it, it does go off and it affects communities. But what about the prior stuff? What about the earthquakes? If there's any earthquake, are people even prepared for that? You know, simple things like gas in your car, gas in the propane tanks, you know, having an um, emergency kit or backpack packed for each person in your household. They need to recognize what their situation is, where they're living, where they're working, where their families have their activities especially when they're, you know, about their daily activities and separated. They need to know how to communicate um, to the point where, you know, they even have a, a family plan, maybe a rally site. Magno says during an eruption, HVO maps can pinpoint where flows would go so civil defense can keep people out of harm's way and not evacuate random large communities. Civil defense and HVO will host a Facebook Live Q&A on December 1st at 6 o'clock. We'll have a link for you at khon2.com. Sam Spangler, KH12 News, working 24-7.